Served up double cheese in the driveway Fall from your mama house, baby, we can do it our way Jamming my dark yo in the morning, talk to Yahweh Ain't got a passport, but we still moving the flyway My jury be snitching, cause all them bitches filled with pointers I'm done screwing these bitches, they get more turns than the corners And it's OT of the family Cause I know duty and my brothers, they gon' stand with me Oh my god Yo, what's poppin' to the and it's your boy Supreme Caddy, man, we back in the cover some more videos now. Oh, for real? Hey, drop a like on this video, bro. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes. Only because we the live is doing this. All my videos live and saying nothing. I bring that little live out of YouTube. I ain't nobody else doing this like us. Now, off the real, bro. Hey, man, I was on I was on YouTube, right? I'm just scrolling, just watching videos and stuff like that, right? Because I be watching Charleston White. I be watching bro interviews every time he do an interview with Say Cheese, so... His videos, so Say Cheese videos been popping up a lot on my YouTube because I was watching Charleston White, right? So I'm seeing Shorty name. I see her say, oh, she talked to King Von like 16 times after he passed or something like that, but I didn't even see the 16 times. Either Say Cheese just changed the title or I must have seen another video. All I know is I seen her say she, she was uh, talking to King Von at his death, which a lot of people, that's, you know, Asian daughter said something like that before, all type of stuff. So I said, okay. I'm finna tune into this, bro. I gotta bring it to YouTube. Y'all niggas don't only be on here like that. You feel me? I be saying I'm gonna jump back on here, then I get to falling off and hopping back off on YouTube, focusing on music. My nigga, we finna start. We finna start. Hey, bro, I ain't even gonna do that, bro. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just go cram and let my actions speak. But we finna knock this out, cause I gotta see what Shorty talking about. And me personally, I don't know. A lot of people getting on. A lot of people on the case talking about, you know, like Shorty doing it for the clout, but. I don't know, I gotta listen to it, cause I believe in this type of stuff, but it depends on what she's saying, you know what I'm saying? Cause they saying she talk, acting like she only talk to celebrities, but anyway, let's get into it, man. Y'all boys on the editing method, let's get it, man. Okay. Oh shit, I be using headphones. That's why this shit was tripping. Alright, let's get it, bro. Sound might be fucked up, but you good. Can you stop the future, the outcome? Like, let's say you tell somebody something's, you're gonna get hit by a bus on Friday, can you stop that from happening or that's just what it is? No, you can stop it from happening because most of the world is living on free will. Most of the world ain't even living on their life purpose. They define path. So, um, let me full screen. Say, I don't know. You might get hit by a bus Friday. Say, bro, when I say, pre pop. When I say, pre pop, press pop, the fuck wrong with you, nigga? All right, look, let me make this full screen for y'all, nigga, because I don't want sound to be messed up in the video. I will, I should get my headphones, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. Whatever you are doing prior to that, are you living on your life purpose or are you doing free will? You living on free will, so you're trying to go be, for instance, a pimp. That's not your life purpose, that's not why you're here. But if you say, you know what, I'm gonna listen to her because a pimp ain't my life purpose, I'm gonna go this way, I'm not even gonna go down to the track. I could stop you. But if I tell you and you just like, I don't care about what she say, you keep living on free will and you see where it go. The most high don't really, you know, um, control those who are on free will. He ain't, they don't really help people who just don't care about nothing. Hmm. I can only help people who want to know who they are, they like purpose. Hmm. Yeah. So you you stopped a lot of things from happening by telling people, Yeah. you know. I've saved one. Hey, me, the type of person I am, bro, it's getting dark in here because it took everything to get this video started, but I'm gonna knock this video out for y'all by any means. Type of person I am, bro, I want to know a little bit of everything. What them three dice mean on shorty face? What them three dots stand for on her forehead? Somebody comment down below and let me know why she got three dots in the middle of her forehead, bro. It ain't nothing. I don't know. Because I know Indians be having like A dots, but sure they got three dots. So y'all let me know what that means. Domestic violence. Um, I've saved men from... I, I've saved a lot of people. I, I have. Yeah. Without saying names, can you kind of tell us one of them situations where... You told somebody something was gonna happen and you stopped it from happening? And even they knew that it was gonna happen after you told them? Um, well, I helped a woman down in Florida. Um, and she was dating a guy. He from the army. Um, and you know, she was getting to know him. She was very happy and I told him, I told her, he's very abusive. If you continue to get to know him, he's gonna start hitting you. Hey, he's very shorty say he from the army. I ain't gonna lie, I got some partners that's in the army right now. One of my homeboys in the army, right? But I feel like an army nigga will be abusive, bro. Cause you gotta think them niggas used to rules. Like them you them niggas used to like she being in order. You feel me? So like I don't know, like 
You feel me? I don't know how to explain it, but you would think them niggas be on that. Like, you would think, because I know some niggas that'll get a, they got rods stuck up there. If you say anything about the American flag, anything about anything, they gonna get the, you feel me? Them boy, I think they still in the yard or something. They think they still got them tall ass boots on. Don't say nothing about the flag around them niggas, you feel me? Like, for real. Then this nigga wanna love her. Then she started to go down in his history and you know, look into him like, oh, she was right. He is very abusive. He beat all of his ex-girlfriends up. So she then said, you know what? I don't want to talk to him no more. She cut him off. She walked away. Now she's in a beautiful marriage. Very happy. He, hmm. You never met the guy before. You don't know nothing about um, him. I seen his picture. I don't need to meet people to do readings on him. Okay. Um... You speak about King Von a lot. Let's see what Shorty's talking about. You said he's, he's always in your dreams. Yeah, actually, um, he actually, his spirit came to me. Um, I worked with him a, a lot. That's one person I can say. Um, I worked with King Von a lot. And before, be hey, this is my last time pausing, bro. Before we really listen to what she got to say, who is she? Y'all let me know, because I believe in this type of stuff, right? Like, I remember my uncle was telling me one time, like, he was like, you ever notice your dreams be feeling, like, real, right? Because he, he deep into this type of shit, bro, like, bro, he just, he, he, he know about all types. So he's like, you ever notice your dreams be feeling super real? You be in your dream, and it's like, damn, like, it be super real. You get what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, bro, this is because in your dream, I forgot how he said it, but he was like, it's like another dimension. It's like another, like, I don't know what he said it, but it's like. It's something, bro. It's like you living in another, like it's a, it's something about another dimension or some shit like that. You feel me? Like a fourth dimension. I don't know. I don't know what it is, bro. You feel me? But like, I don't know. Then he was like, and you notice when you wake up, you start to forget your dream. That's because they've been putting stuff in food, doing all type of stuff to control us and do this type of shit. You feel me? So when you wake up, you will forget your dreams. Like, bro, I'll be having a good-ass dream. As soon as I wake up, I'll remember it. But then it'll go away instantly. Like, I literally had a dream about some chips. And didn't remember until I grabbed a bag of chips. I was like, oh, shit, I had a dream about some chips uh, earlier. You know what I'm saying? Like, but anyway, let me get back to this. Who is Shorty for, for Vaughn to even come to Shorty? You feel me? Like, she somebody that's known for doing this type of work, or she just like a regular female that say she, you feel me? He came to me, and, um, you know, he talked to me. He gave me messages to give to his family to let him know he's really around me. Um told me, you know, he, he told me a lot. I don't really want to discuss what he told me, but I work with King Vaughn. That's one spirit I can say I actually helped him cross over. My right eye jumped in. He, he's probably around, but um, I, I worked with him a lot, and I helped him set his soul free. Wow. I ain't gonna lie, like... Was there a connection before his death? Well, prior to him um, crossing over... I have a lot of psychic friends, um, and they would tell me someone in a black truck is coming to your house. Someone is going to travel far in a black truck, and I'm like, so I'm, I'm like looking, like, okay, well, let me be on my toes. Someone going to come to my house, and they never told me if it was going to be physical or spiritual. They just told me someone was coming to you. Um, the day before he crossed over, I had a major panic attack, like the type of panic attack like I just need to be under my mom. I had to rush home. I need to be under my The day before he crossed over. So the day before he passed, in other words, like is that what she's saying? And I, I never felt that way before. And the you know, the day after he crossed over and when he when his soul came to my house, um he was so scared. He was in a real panic mode. Um, he couldn't believe that he was no longer in his vessel. Um, and I had to find a way to help calm him down because I was telling him that if you don't calm down, you're going to be earthbound. You're going to be trapped on earth. You're not going to be able to cross over to the next dimension hmm. if you don't learn how to relax. I need so, to learn um, more about that. I'm going to start shut up. I would help him um, gain his power spiritually, like allow him to knock stuff over in my house and um, allow now, him. Now, I ain't going to lie, bro. Cause I did see a snippet of something like this on the ground. Like I always see the snippet of shit on ground. Like that's why, I, bro. If you go to my Instagram right now, everything is deactivated. Bro, I need to focus. That's why I'm hopping back on YouTube. I gotta stay focused. That shit depressing. It, it, it be making me like mess up on my mission, bro. I be determined, and then Instagram will throw it off. But anyways, uh, that's what that's something I seen, bro. 
Shorty say she had Vaughn was knocking stuff over in her house. Now look, I believe everything. I've been, I've been believing a lot of what Shorty been saying. But when you say niggas knocking over physical objects like big, you must, it gotta be like a he must have knocked a feather off the off the table or got a rapper or something. Cause ain't no way. You saying folk just in there knocking over vases and heavy sh I don't believe you right there, Shorty. I ain't gonna lie. I don't believe you on that till. You gotta you gotta come with some proof now. The only way we'll believe, shorty, you gotta come with some proof. It's no way to gonna get to get it on camera. You feel me? Cause like, from what I know, spirits don't like being on camera. You know what I'm saying? But um, you gotta prove that part, shorty. They ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know. Maybe them dots working a little too hard on something on your forehead, but you gotta prove that one. I believe you though. Like I believe she really be talking to these spirits and stuff. But who is she? Like for the spirits to come to her? We in a world with billions of people, bro. It's probably famous people that sidekicks. Like famous sidekicks that's known for doing this. Why would, they, why would he come to you of all people? You feel me? So I need to know who Shorty is because we don't, you never know. You, you never know how it is in the afterlife. Maybe she a, a well-known sidekick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, I don't disbelieve Shorty, but some of the stuff, like knocking over, I don't know about that one. You got to come with a little bit more proof for me, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Showcase himself so he could go to his family and really. It's getting dark here too. Y'all gotta bear with me. Vaughn would knock stuff over in your house. Yes. Hey, the way, hey, the way he just said that, bro. I don't really miss to say cheese because folks seen my music a long time ago. I'm sure you did and ain't never posted. I, I don't got nothing against him. I just don't really rock with bro content. But let me so see what bro say. His family really let them know. Wait, wait. King Vaughn would knock stuff over in your house. Yes. Wow. <sighs> And what is what? What was your reaction then? Was you was you scared? Were you? No, um, I don't. And, 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 and not to cut you off, this was a day before your psychic friends told you that you were ex you were expected a visit in a mm -hmm. black truck. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and he came to me, um, and you know he's not the only one. That's not the first experience. So I was actually um, prepared. I work with other souls. Um, Nipsey Hustle. I work with Nipsey Hustle. I actually um, write music with Nipsey Hustle in my dreams, and he always tells me, "You need to get it to Hitmaker. You need to take this song to Hitmaker." King Von, he visit. Shorty says she write music with Nipsey. So folk rapping in heaven, bro. You mean to tell me folks still making music in the afterlife? Shorty, not, not, that's what I'm saying. I've like, been believing you, but it's some, it's some stuff that you saying that ain't, who gonna listen to it? Nigga say they write music in the afterlife. Who the who listen? We can't hear this, you feel me? Like, RP my nigga Nipsey, I rock with Nipsey heavy. I be playing rap niggas like, like it's the only thing that be on the radio. And, um, the other song, I forgot the name, with Dom Kenny, whatever. I be playing that back to back, but, who finna li y'all niggas? I see, that's what I'm saying. Like, surely I be believing you until you say something like that. Like you write, you and Nipsey Hussle writing music. You, so you got a feature with Nipsey. How, when that song drop, let me know, and then I believe that's that part. I don't believe that part now, surely. Cause who the hell listening to it? Like we can't hear that shit. You feel me? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Look. I don't know about that one. And as you saying, you just be writing music and. In your head or some I don't know. I believe you, but I don't believe that part. All the knocking shit off. You feel me? I ain't saying shorty line. I definitely believe her. But it's something she's saying that's like, I ain't saying she lying. But it's just like, hey, it's kind of hard to believe that. I ain't gonna lie. She says she writes it's songs true. with Nipsey Hussle. He's, he's, he's in a panic attack because of everything that just happened, mm -hmm. right? Um, and now, is this when the news is breaking or is this the day after? Um, he came to me the day after he left. Okay. What was the room like? Like, was it foggy? Like, what? Like, you know, don't laugh at me. I'm, I'm new to this. So. <laughs> well, um, when King Vaughn came to me, I was asleep. And, um, he would come, he, would, he came to me. He was saying, I need you to wake up. I need you to get up. I need to talk to you. I need to work with you. And in my dreams, I was telling him, like, I'm asleep. You got to wait till I wake up. I'm asleep right now. And I can't. And he, he was like, you're not, you're not staying asleep. I need you to get up. I need to tell my story. I need to talk to you. Everybody in the spirit room is sending me to you. Everybody in the spirit room telling me to come to you. And in the dream, um, 
we was actually standing, it was very awkward, we was standing in Rome, um, and we were, we were at like this museum where the gladiators would fight. And um, he was telling me, like, I could really trust you. Look in your eyes. Like, I could look in hey. your eyes until I could trust you. Either, hey, she's telling the truth, bro. Like, I feel like she's telling the truth. Or either she's a good liar. Because, like, to me, when some, I, I feel like I know when somebody's telling the truth when they go into, like, detail quick about little sh Trust me, they got some good liars, too. I used to be one of them when I was little. But, like, when you go into detail about little stuff like that that we don't care about, and when she said, like, it was awkward because we were standing it. That's what made me believe her right there. When she said, it was awkward because I believe her right there. You feel me? Like, she said it was awkward because they were standing in Rome in a museum and all that. I believe, surely, for sure. But it's some. I really have a pure heart, so I really need to work with someone I can trust. I don't trust nobody from my past life. He was telling me, like, I don't trust nobody. Nobody from the life I just left, I trust nobody. I have nobody I could trust. Um, so from that day on, we kept working together and, um, you know, he told me like, I could have, I could have made it, you know, I could have made it, but they were taking really slow with the car. I, I really could have made it. And, um, he was just telling me so much stuff about the night, about the situation. Um, and I don't want to get too, you know, deep into it, but he was just telling me I, I really could have made it. And then he lifted his shirt up and he was like showing me like, some holes down by his um, lower stomach. And um, then he told me to, um, he gave me a message to give to his family. And I, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel her, but Bond probably could have made it. You know what I'm saying? Like, folk, they, they you gotta think, bro, them niggas from Chicago, right? So they used to niggas just, niggas just getting shot and people not even, it ain't like a regular crime scene, a nigga getting shot and everybody down there picking them up and holding them up. and. They ain't from Chicago where niggas get shot going to the store and, and niggas just out there, he, he even got wet. You feel me? Or, or niggas having shootouts and, you feel me? So, when, look, when, when folk got shot at point blank range, dude got shot at point blank range, bro. You feel me? So that bullet hit him hard. Probably, hey, that bullet hit him hard. You know what I'm saying? And ain't no telling how many times folk got shot. So, when folk got shot in his stomach or wherever he got shot, that close. He was instantly gonna be losing a lot of blood, you feel me? So, with them moving them around, the bullet traveling and all type of stuff. So I feel like he probably could have made it, but they was moving him around a little too much, you feel me? Like, and it ain't really their fault, cause what's gonna happen is already reading. God, this is already reading, can't none of us stop this. But, you know, it probably could have been prevented, you know what I'm saying? But then again, that's how it was wrote. It been wrote like that. We could say, this could have happened, this could have happened, and this would have happened, and this should have happened all day long, bro. That was already wrote. That been wrote. You feel me? Like that been wrote. Wasn't no side option on side of it. Like, okay, but this can happen if this eh, this was what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's that was just God plan for, for that situation. You know what I'm saying? But RP bomb, and they did tell you, bro, that you know, bro was too young to go right now, but shit. God, this how this how life work, bro. You feel me? Like, God got this stuff wrote. You feel me? I don't Actually, know, it's crazy. Up giving it to his sister. We all gotta live and die, though. You feel so me? they can know he's really with me. And, um, you know, he would tell me, like, I, 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 I will always have you. I got your back. I will always have your back. So. Okay, so you gave the letter to his sister, Kayla? Mm hmm. Should have said, mm hmm. Okay, another sister. Okay, and. Man, so he crosses over so y'all can no more have that. Is he does he still talk to you like that? Or once you cross over it, the the communication is different? Um, well the communication is the same. He just don't got no physical vessel, so you can't physically see him. Huh. But when you tapped in you could hear him, you could feel him, but as far as he no longer has this, but he's still here, he just don't have a body. Hmm. Shorty, why you look up like that? You made me feel like you were trying to hold in something. You know what I'm saying? You could feel him, but as far as he no longer has this, but he's still here. He just don't have a body. Did somebody walk in or what you look up for? Does he uh, come to you? Um, well, he's been gone since November, and I would say I've had visits from him about. 15, 16 times. 
does, does anyone stand out from from the other or was the first one the one that really like was different um well he's no longer in a panic mode um shorty be having me going back and forth bro he's actually put in a lot of work in the spirit room he works a lot to clear his karma um huh. And he will actually send people to me to tell to tell me like he's working right now. He can't come to you right now, um, but he still watches you. Um, so he's actually working really hard in the spirit room. So for watching your videos as well, or or he watching you like. See, I don't want to be funny though, cause this niggas on here being funny like just playing with shorty like. Oh, so he doing this too? Or oh, talking to Martin Luther King too? You know what I'm saying? What you mean by what what you mean by he watching you? He ain't watching you on YouTube. Cause you make me seem like folks subscribe to you on all types of shit. He probably watching you like I mean he is a spirit, so he probably saying like he watch you in your daily. I don't know, bro. I don't know. You feel me? Like it's crazy. If you tapped into this, cause I'm on some spiritual too, but I'm on the I'm on like the I ain't on the beginner stage, bro. I'm on the next step at the beginner stage. You feel me? So you know how you going upstairs. Let's say it's it's six stairs, right? I'm about the second step. You feel me? Like, I'm on the spiritual level where I don't be trying to have sexual intercourse with people like that. You feel me? I, I got a broad anyways, but I, I I be regretting some of the people that I used to, that I didn't, you feel me? Because they lowered my vibration, bro, and like it, it creates soul ties. You feel me? Like, I be trying to reserve my energy, bro. You feel me? And that type of stuff. Like, I'm on that type of time for sure. I be eating healthy, like all my food, organic, organic milk, organic oatmeal, organic anything, bro. Organic gummy bears. Like, I'm I'm on that type of time. You feel me? I'm trying to really take care of myself. All I drink is water. I don't drink juice, nothing. You feel me? So, I'm on that type of time right now. But if you tapped in on this type of spiritual stuff, I need you to get in the comment section, bro. I'm reading all comments. Like, I'm tuned in. I'm one of the people that like learning, bro. I want to know what's going on. Don't come in there with no full gaze and stuff. If you know what you're talking about, come in the comment section and tap in. Cause I ain't trying to be funny to short. I ain't trying to get on here like everybody else and clown or like. Cause it do sound funny, I ain't gonna lie. When she talking about she can talk to all these celebrities. You feel me? But she ain't finna tell us about random people. She just told you about a woman that she said she changed her marriage. She ain't finna get on here and get talking about um this nigga, Luther and Melvin, and we don't know them niggas. You feel me? We finna be like, huh? So of course she gonna talk about the niggas we know about, you feel me? So let me know, bro. Comment and go in the comment section and tune in, man. Tap in, because I'm really trying to learn and see. Now the knocking shit over, shorty, you gotta come harder than that one. I don't, I ain't hearing it, I'm not buying that one. You feel me? Or the right music and y'all got a mixtape and shit, I'm not buying that one either. But I, everything else, like you talking and working with people, I kinda, I believe it, you feel me? Like I believe it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna probably tune in to some old parts of this, but it's dark and uh, I know the light messed up. I had to get y'all this video by any means. I don't like the ring light because it be messing with my eyes. Like I'm right here, but I ain't really with it. You feel me? So drop a like on this video, subscribe. I'm gonna try to get this video out for y'all today. If not tomorrow, because it's 807. You know what I'm saying? We finna go crazy, man. Make sure y'all drop a like on the video, subscribe. Really go in that comment section and turn up because I'm down there responding. I'm down there chopping it up. I wanna know. You feel me? But anyway, I gotta bring with some other videos. So I know that I gotta stop the video. Let's get it, man. Like a Gucci belt, double G's in the driveway Far from your mama house, baby, we can do it our way Jamming my 30 yo, in the morning, talk to Yahweh Ain't got a passport, but we still move